In this video, we're going to try to install WireChat into Element Panel. Currently, we're able to access WireChat right here in the default route and interface. So let's go ahead and try to add it right here. So for that, we're going to have to go and create a page so we can go. In here, let's type PHP Artisan Make Filament Page Chats. After doing that now, we can let's try to open the chat that we just created, this filament page. All right, so for this, we can just change this to hero icon to chat bubble over left. And then let's go to our chats blade. Let's just create a div first of all. Let's create a class, add a fixed height. And then CSS function with height 100vh minus, we can say minus 10 or something. All right, and then let's go ahead and add live wire, wire chat component, the standalone. All right, now after adding that, before we go and check out the page, we need to create a theme so that filament can load the styles for this component into filament admin panel. So for that, you can go ahead and create a theme, PHP artisan make filament theme, you can call it admin. All right, so a theme has been created and now it's asking us to go add this to our Vite config JS and this to our admin you know, panel provider. So for that, let's go and open our Vite, this config. And let's just add this here. And then later, let's go to our admin panel provider and add, the, add that line right here. This one, the Vite, so it can pick up the source file for CSS. And then while we are here, we also need to load some or wire chat assets and styles so we can simply use some render hooks for filament and add them right here so you can add this render hook in the head end and add wire chat styles and down here let's add another one for wire chat assets in the body end this is just going to load the models and you know notification tokens for wire chat all right so now we have one last thing to do we've added this source file now we need to tell filament to pick up the styles for wire chat so for that, let's go to our, go to this Tailwind config for the new one we created for filament and add the style right here for WireChat, this one. And you can simply find this in the WireChat official documentation while installing, you can simply copy it from here. And if you already have, you can simply get from your Tailwind config. So we added that there. So now let's go ahead and try to check. Let's refresh this. All right. Now we have a chat loading right inside our filament admin panel and as you can see right now we have kind of an overflow i think it's because of these chats on top right here so let's go ahead and remove that oh right here in our chats component you can simply add this one get title set it to empty string so now if we go and refresh now we have a chat right inside our filament panel which is very convenient because you know we might want to just create a chat for your admin to chat without having to create it in the user interface or you want both because here right here you can open conversations and you can it will work just as it worked before in the other chat and it will work just fine and you can also toggle into dark mode and everything will work just as expected and it's very good you can also start creating chats from here you can search for other users let's say namu and i can click right here and it, and it opened the chat right here without even redirecting. So it's very convenient that you can use it in so many ways. Now this chat component is a full SPA without any redirect. So you should read more on the documentation. It's really a cool, you know, uh, component. And if you, if you also want, you can, for example, when I open this chat, you can see that right now we have messages which are in this color. So if you want to match your brand color, like for example, this uh, filament, default color simply just go to your configuration right here just change the color to like for example let's say this color awesome now we have a color which matches our brand identity and you can also do that you know configure it all right and one more thing before i close is that right now i'm logged in currently as admin from admin table that is admin guard so if you want to be able to access WireChat both on your filament as a different guard and on your other, like the default route, be sure to go to in here, 
make sure that you add you know web and admin also for the guard add web and admin right so now if you go to the charts you see that I'm able to access the same chat logged in as admin both here and here and it worked just fine right so that's it for this I thank you guys for sticking around and stay tuned for more